So, in this video we're gonna talk about the hunting skill and which animals that are the best ones to kill to improve your hunting skill as fast as possible and also talk a little bit about the skill tree and which animals I would prefer to hunt. Um, so if, if we start with the skill tree, um, the first skill you want to pick is the hunting knowledge. It basically makes so that all your hunting activities give more experience. So that's like given. Then you want to get the tracker so you can inspect and find the animals uh, when you focus by using alt. So if I focus here, I can see my horse. If I focus here, I can see the rat in the rat trap. The next skill I would get is basically either experienced hunter or careful hunter. The careful hunter gives you uh, more resources from hunted animals and the experienced hunter gives you slower durability of weapons. But I'm just gonna put one point in either of these to get up and get uh, lock and load to shoot faster, to reload your uh, weapon faster. So this is a really important skill. And also when you have this one, lock and load, I would go with the steady hand so it's easier to aim. So with that out of the way, with the skill tree, we're gonna go to the different type of animals. So here is the oxbow map. Here is uh, most of the animals you can find on the oxbow map. And we're gonna go through every single uh, animal here. Uh, just quick. So <laughs> it's all right. So if we kill the wolf here, we're gonna get 9.2 um, experience points. If we skin it, we get 3.5 points and that leaves us with 12.7 points. And then you have all the points here. So you can just pause the video if you wanna see more of this, but I'm not gonna go through every single one of them. Um, what I do want to talk about is my personal tier list of what to kill. Because uh, I feel like that's more important here. So if we go down to the tier list, we're gonna see that we get most points from killing the bear. And after that, it's the wizard. And after that, it's the boar and the wolf here. The reason why I have the boar up in my tier one list is because as soon as you come close to a boar, they stand still. You shoot them one time in the face, they die. So they're super easy to kill. You get a bunch of um, meat, 25 meat, and you get a little bit of um, leather. Now, the wizard and the boar, uh, or the bear, they both give 80 meat and are also the ones that gives most points. Both of them are killed with a recurved bow and three iron arrows to the head. So they're not that hard to kill. Um, so these are my top three. Then uh, I would kill moose, wolf and deers. Because uh, those are basically high points as well. Uh, from the moose and the deer and also the wizard, you can get the trophies to put up in the houses to improve the mood for your villagers. Now, in my tear free list, I have basically, you can see fox, lynx, badger, white-tailed eagle and hawk. They all give pretty much the same points here. I wouldn't go for any of these. Um, normally because they're tedious to hunt uh i honestly think it's easier to just kill a bear than to run after a fox and try to hit it but that might differ from person to person because some people might aim better than i do um so um, it's a personal preference of course and then i put the rabbit here in the tire free as well is because if you just run out in the woods and see a rabbit, you can just punch it in the face and it 
dead. So if I see a rabbit and I run past it, I might as well hit it in the face to get a little bit of experience points from, from that. Um, now I put the white tailed eagle and the hawk here because I think they're easier to shoot than all the small um, all the small birds. Uh, you also get uh, a little bit more uh, materials from these than uh, the crow pigeon and the duck. So um, those are my tire free ones and I really don't like to hit the birds because they're so small. I would uh, personally don't shoot them if I don't have a quest for it. And then we have uh, all the fishes. I mean, who does fishing in uh, Medieval Dynasty? If you do, I put them here so you can see that they're useless. But they're here anyway. Uh, then what we haven't talked about is the rat trap, rabbit trap and bird trap. Those are actually pretty good. They give a decent amount uh, of experience and you just need to put a trap down by your resource storage, for example, or outside your house. And when you come back to your village after you've been out running, you can just pick up the loot from there. So that's basically my tier list. So um, uh, if you enjoy this video, you can uh, like it. Uh, if you don't agree with anything or want to discuss anything, we can do it in the comments. I read every single one of them. And if you found this useful and want to uh, see more videos, you can uh, uh, subscribe to the channel. So um, have a nice day. Bye bye.